My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. I have a lot of to-dos in my life, both at the job but also privately. To focus on each one of these to-dos separately, but also to increase productivity, I create to-dos for all the assignments. The intuition is very simple. In Trello, I have a Kanban board, I have a to-do list, I have an in-progress list and a done list. To-do and my assignments go here whenever I get a new assignment. When I'm working on it, I simply just move the card over here and finally click done whenever the, the assignment is done and you can see this done as my trophy room. One very nice feature that I have in this is that whenever a new event is created in the calendar, that could be either at job or privately, I'm adding a new card. And I'm doing that automatically with Power Automate. In that way, I can prepare myself for the meeting and say that there's nothing to prepare, I simply just move them to done. In that way, I never forget a meeting and I never forget to prepare. And I always do it in good time. Let's create that solution in Power Automate. So go to your office account, then click Power Automate. Click Create. We want it to be an automated cloud flow. That is, whenever an event in the calendar is created, we want the flow to run. So click here. Let's call it Event to Trello card. The trigger, that is, whenever a new event is created. So simply just search for when a new event. There you go. Take this one. Take the Office 365 if you're running on that subscription. I do, and that is whenever you run on the web service. So click here, and then just click Create. First of all, we need to select the calendar. Make sure you got the right integration. By clicking up here, I both have my work account and I have my private account. This one is for the private, so I just click here. Then I select the calendar like this. And remember, this is the trigger. Now we need to get the information out of the mail and create a card with it. So click new step. Up here, we take the event. So get event like this. Make sure you choose the get event and not the get events. So take this one, get event. Again, make sure we have the right account. I have two accounts assigned, so choose the private one. But if you only have one account, you shouldn't worry about this. Then we select the calendar. Again, we click the drop down and select the calendar. Then we get the ID. The ID we got from up here. So simply just click in here and then over here in the dynamic content, scroll a little bit down and click the idea like this. So now we got the event, we can work with it. So click new step. Because the event is in HTML, and we want the Trello card to be nicely formatted. We need to convert it from HTML to text. So find a HTML to text like this. By the way, if you like this video, you could really help me a lot by giving it a thumbs up. That will improve my reach and make me really happy. Again, here we need to specify what HTML do we want to format to text. So click in here and you can see we get the dynamic content over here as well. It's very easy this. Choose the one from get event, that is this one, and click here. Now we're done here. We have our nicely uh, formatted event details in text format. So now we can create the card. So click new step, then search for Trello, like this, and we create a card, like this. The board idea, well, that is the board idea we got up here. Mine is called Anna's Automation. Yours is probably called something else, I hope at least. So choose it from here, it's this one. Then the idea, we can click a little bit, drop down. Where do we want the card to go? I always want my new cards to go in to do, so I choose that one. We could give it a name and let's give it the name of the subject of the event. So in here, I always do a little prefix so I know this is a meeting when the card shows up in Trello. So I say M colon, then a space, and we can take the subject from the event. So over here in the get event, choose the subject like this. Then we could give it a nice description. First of all, I want the location. 
So in here, I want the location like this, colon, then a space, and again over here in the dynamic content, we find the location. Let's see, it's here, location of the event. One other thing that I really want to do is that I want this location to be in bold because that looked nice on the card. That's just a little uh, tuning, but I think you should do it because it looks cool. So in each way of this word and the colon, put two stars in asterisk like this. Then we need a blank line and then three small lines. What this does is it makes it a line all over on the card with this formatting code. By the way, these three lines here and this asterisk thing, making it bold and a line that is formatting in the Trello card. So it's not something specific to Power Automate, it's just a Trello thing. Then we click enter. Now I want the description. So again, two asterisk, this description, colon, two asterisk, then a space, the description, that is the body that we formatted from HTML to text up here, so it could look really nice. In that way, we simply just choose the output from the HTML to text, that is the plain text content, so click here, like this. And now I want a link on the Trello card. I want a link to this event so I can easily get to it and do all things in that. To do this, I just make a new line, make these three ones here, make a new line. I have the two asterisk, I say link, colon, two asterisk. And some of you have asked what my best Power Automate book is, and that is simply this one. It will take you through each step of this nice automation platform. The link is in the description. So again, we have the link, then the space, and we need over here to find it in the dynamic content. There will be something called web link. It's here, so click that one. Now it would be nice to have a label on the card. Let's go to Trello. You can see that I have labels. Here's a yellow label and here's a purple label. I usually do that to divide it between categories. For example, my private life and my work life. So in my edit flow, I click the drop down here and in the label ideas, I click the drop down and let's choose yellow like this. Now we are ready to run our flow. So I click save. Your flow is ready to go. We recommend you test it so we could test it. We'll just click test, choose manually and then click test. Now we need to create an event to see if this is really working. So in my calendar, just click a random place and we can say our awesome event like this. We will choose the date and time to be as it is. And in the description, we say, if you think this video helps you, please give it a thumbs up like this. And then we click save. Then we go back to our Power Automate flow, and we can see that our flow ran successfully. So let's go to Trello, like this, and we have our Trello card here. We can see the prefix is M, that is because it's a meeting, that's fine. So click inside it, and this is our nice format. We have the location, we didn't specify anything here, but we could change that if we wanted. Then we have the description, if you think this video helps you, give it a thumbs up. And then we have a link to this event, if I click here it will take me to the event. That's nice, I can edit it. Isn't this Power Automate a nice tool? I recommend you click the link here to get the full course about Power Automate that will really improve your productivity and your job chances.